In today's video, we're working on this Audi RS4 and we're installing an Audison full sound system into it. Good morning guys, Tim from Advanced In Car Tech and Richard is in the background just scanning this vehicle before we get going. So, 2015 Audi RS4 B8, awesome bit of kit. It's an Audi exclusive color and uh, all the interior colors match the outside, which is really cool. So we're gonna be installing or taking out the factory Audi sound system just because if you've heard them, they're all right and they're, they're, they are okay, but they are a little bit limited and we can do something so much better. Customer's got quite a few cars, and this one is one that he's planning on keeping, so we're gonna give it the special treatment with a full Alderson sound system. So, what are we installing? So, we're gonna start things off with an 8.9 bit Forza processor. We're gonna be teaming it up with some Voce front end speakers, some APK 165s in the rear. We've got an um, eight inch active subwoofer that's going to be going in the front end is going to be fully active so we'll have full control over everything the rear doesn't need to be so much and the beauty with this system as well because it's a VAG car we've got plug and play wiring loom so that means that we don't have to chop in don't have to cut keeps the warranty safe if it did have it and um, yeah so we're gonna try and stop by on this car uh, at different stages of the video I'm gonna quickly flick the camera around just show you some of the kit so that you can see what we're gonna be installing and uh, yeah so stay tuned right just so you can see a little bit of the equipment before it goes in here is the kit list or the kit all laid out ready for richard and the engineers to install so we're going to be doing our three stage sound deadening with the skins product a three mil sound deadening on the front and rear doors we've then got our voce um, av 1.1s and 6.5s and you can see them all spread out nicely here we've got our apks 165s that are going to be going in the in the rear doors we've got our Forza 8.9 bit processor down here. We've got our APS BX8, I think it's called AS, over here, which is the amplified subwoofer. The beauty of this product is that it can be removed from the rear of the vehicle and it's just plug and play. So if the customer wants it, then they've got it or needs the space, it can just come straight out again. We've got our bit controller. We're gonna be doing something a little bit special with this one. Hopefully it's gonna look awesome. And then just all the other cabling and wiring um, to, for this install. Um, one other thing that we're going to be doing with this is we're actually going to be installing a, a digital uh, toss link cable that's going to be going through to the glove box of the vehicle. Now the reason we're doing this is because this has a digital out or a digital in sorry and that means or an optical in as it's called. We're going to be putting this in so that the customer can install his own digital optical uh, well, not an mp3 player because it does so much more it does flack and so that means that it will be true digital sound all the way from the start all the way through to the finish so yeah a lot of kit going in a big car and rich is just starting there by taking the door cards off he's already done his pre-vehicle checks and scan it's all okay and uh yeah we'll stop by later a bit later on and see how we're getting on Okay guys, right, so we're more than halfway through, but um, just being super, super busy, I forgot to do sort of a midway update where we could see all the sound editing and all the speakers that are in. Um, let me just centerize the camera. So uh, the door cards have already gone back on just because they're a pain in the backside uh, on this particular car. So um, the Voce um, mid bases are in the doors. The the Voce tweeters have gone in the factory location as per Audison spec. We've done the Primas into the rear with their own tweeters up here as well using the crossover from the system. All the wiring has been thread from the front to the rear and James is just going through the final part of the wiring up for the Forza amplifier. So we've got the things like the Phonos, all the OEM integration here. We've got our fiber optic system, as you can see, probably glowing there. And this is what allows the Forza to communicate with the vehicle. So it's all as OEM as possible. We've got our digital toss link going up to the front of the vehicle, ready for the optical player when the customer gets that. Um, so this is nearly ready uh, to be all programmed, time corrected and all that sort of stuff. The subwoofer, is uh, in its final position waiting to be mounted and connected all up and we are Richard is just over here 
and he's just finishing off his panelling for the DRC controller. So the plan at the moment, as I probably mentioned earlier on, is to mount it into the sunglasses holder so that it's sort of like that, if I can show you it. So it sort of sits forward, and then when the customer wants to use it, he can pop open the sunglasses and then close it. He doesn't use this as a sunglasses holder, so Richard's just finishing that off there. And then this will be going over here and installing up there. Hopefully you can just about see it when the camera sorts itself out. And yeah, so that's where we're at with this part of the install. And um, yeah, looking forward to the next stage. Okay guys, right, RS4, Noggy Edition, for all the Nogaro owners out there. Awesome car, and now has an even more awesome sound system than what it came in with. So, um, the boys have just finished all the programming and the software side and setting up the Audison uh, processor. And just to run through the spec list, list again, we've done uh, Voce tweeters in the front doors. Uh, sorry, Voce mid bases in the front doors with tweeters in the OEM position on the dashboard, which you can see just there. So the main thing with this is that it's all stock. It looks stock and you wouldn't know this sound system was fitted. In the rears, we've done the Premier APK 165s and then we've used a whole host of um, interface cables that Audison provide to get that true OEM look, feel and integration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up the rear boot Laptops in here, um, we've just finished all the processing of the processor. So we set up all the time alignment and how we want each individual speaker. And you can see it all down here. We can control where the sound is and how that speaker works and all that sort of stuff. So the Forza amplifier is down here. We're just going to put the back cover on. We just wanted to show it off to you so it, how neat and nicely it installs. Richard has made a custom fabricated panel here to hold the Audison. And rather than it being flat, we wanted to show it off a little bit more. And all the cabling going off in that direction uh, really looks good and uh, well chuffed with it. There's the subwoofer. Um, this has been done for this particular one because the customer didn't want a boot build. It was more for giving that warmth from that subwoofer and it can easily be removed as and when needed because it just felt close to the thing it's pretty sturdy it's not going anywhere and it's a good bit of kit now something really special that we're going to show you in the front of the vehicle with james uh is the bit drc controller so i'm going to jump in now and just get in so as you can see running audi mmi 3g we know that because it's got the two sd cards down here and you from looking at this vehicle you can't see any difference apart from when we go up here hopefully the light can see it there is the bit drc controller so we'll just turn that down so what richard has done is hopefully you can see it on the video but he's made a custom panel that fits nicely and is secured into the sun sunglasses holder. He's then covered it in Milano suede to just give it a bit more of a premium feel. And then he's flushed in the Audison bit DRC controller. And this is where we can fine tune the system uh, or the user or the driver can without having to plug in the computer. They can do their own thing. So James has just started the car. We've got a track here that we own. Well, we have the license to use from Epidemic Sound. It's called Fire and I Love by AO. And what we're going to do is we're just going to turn it up so that hopefully you can get a feel. Being YouTube, it's a bit different, but hopefully you get an idea. So we'll give you about 30 seconds of it. So we'll ramp it right up. <laughs> There's a feeling Okay, so we're still using the factory controls for the MMI. Um, it does what it needs to do, sends it to the processor. So we've got a lovely uh, signal going in and then an awesome signal coming out. And as I said here, the DRC controller allows us to make those changes and you get the four basic ones here. We can also load profiles in here so that if you wanted a different type of sound um, and you can have the sound pushing to anywhere along this dashboard so it sounds like you've got someone singing at you. So if you've got any type of vehicle, doesn't necessarily be need to be an Audi or a Volkswagen, but obviously that's what we specialize in, we can fit you a fully custom uh, Audison sound system that really does sound really, really great. And just to show it hiding away as the last final shot. And as always, thanks for watching.